Hello guys, this is Jyotiswar. Welcome to my channel Study with PJs. And this is Jyotiswar. In this video, we are going to discuss about 25th chapter of uh, mathematics that is probability. And this is the last video of this chapter. And in this video, we are going to just uh, discuss a few examples, okay, which we have not discussed till now and which are somewhat logical and different from our previous questions okay so the first question is there are 30 identical cards are marked with numbers 1 to 30 uh, it uh, if one card is drawn at random find the probability that e that it is and the first is a multiple of 4 and 6 okay so the first question is that there are 1 to 30 cards there are 30 cards mentioning name as 1 to 30 and they are asking us to uh, find the probability if we pick a random and that random is multiple of a 4 or 6 okay let us start so here first you need to mention the multiples of 4 and 6 because they are telling the multiple of a 4 and 6 when picked randomly okay what are the multiples of 4 and 6 4 First, first we will write multiples of four. Uh, four. That, that is, uh, four. What, what do you mean multiple? Multiple is nothing but the table. Okay. So four, eight, twelve, sixteen, uh, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight. That's it. Why we are not writing uh, the next multiple? Because they said there are only thirty-two. I mean there are only 1 to 30 30 numbers on the cards if we take the next number that is 32 it crosses the 30 cards so the multiples of 4 uh, is 4 to 28 now moving to 6 uh, 6 uh, 12 18 and so on ok and 24 and 30 ok so now uh, total how many multiples overall had come that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 can we mark 12 no okay so the main point here is uh, we need to keep aside uh, uh, keep aside the uh, same multiples example 12 12 is uh, uh, at four, 4 multiple of 4 and also 6 and 24 okay so these two are the multiples or uh, common multiples of 4 and 6 so we need to count these both as 1 and then we need to mark so uh, removing that both we will count uh, them later so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and this both as one that is nine and this both as another one ten so overall there are ten probabilities okay so out of these ten probabilities these are the favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes how many total number of outcomes there are 30 so 10 by 30 which is equals to 1 by 3 okay that is about first one now moving to second one multiple of 3 and 5 in the same manner first we need to write uh, multiples of 3 next multiples of 5 and we need to common uh, all of them together then mark okay so what are the multiples of 3 uh, from 3 to 30 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 24 and 27 okay now moving to 5 uh, 5 10 15 20 25 and 30 okay and here also the 30 comes yes or no yes now again we need to common uh, we need to find the common okay so 15 is common in both uh, cases also 30 is common in the both cases and anything else no now we need to count three six nine as one okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and this both as one thirteen this both as a, a, another one as fourteen okay overall there are fourteen yes is it fourteen 
no here the logic comes that is here they said a multiple of 3 and 5 not or here they said or okay then we need to check both conditions when they said and we need to check only common 15 15 as one 30 30 as another one so total there are two two favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes 30 which is equals to 1 by 15 okay that's why i mentioned this as logical if they say or we need to write uh, the multiples then need to make common but if they give and same procedure but we need to write only common numbers here we will count common as one okay now moving to second one in a single throw of a dice find the probability of a number less than three or each die second one a number less than three on each dice okay okay see here they said that in a single throw of a two dice that means uh, two dice are thrown at a time find the probability and the first question is a number less than three on each dice that means on both the dice the probability or the possible should be possibility should be less than three that is one and one less than three yes one and two less than three yes one and three no next uh, two two and uh, one less than three next uh, two and two less than three two and three no another all uh, more will be more than three now how many possibilities one two three four four possibilities okay so four is the uh, favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes 36 why 36 they said two dice on each die uh, what are the possibilities 6 in our previous video we have discussed the formula of a dice that is 6 power n which is equals to number of dice so 6 power 2 dice which is equals to 36 so there are 36 possibilities uh, when we throw 2 dice so out of 36 possibilities 4 uh, is the favorable outcome okay uh, uh, here I wrote uh, this question twice so I changed it the, that is an odd number as a sum before that we can cancel here yes that is four ones and four nines 36 which is equals to one by nine okay now here an odd number as a sum that means uh, on the two dice the sum if we add the uh, sum of both the answer on the two dice we need to get an odd number example uh, in the first die you got three and in the second die you got uh, 4 4 uh, 4 plus 3 5 6 7 7 is an odd number yes in that way we need to mention them okay okay see here these are the possibilities okay if we add any of these one we get some and uh, only these if we take example 4 2 we took 4 4 if we take 4 3 the answer will be 3 4 i mean 1 and 3 that is a 3 plus 1 four okay so one two makes three four one makes five six one makes seven okay everything of these makes odd number and only these are the possibilities okay let's count how many are there one two three four five six one two three six three is a eighteen so eighteen by total uh, number of outcomes is thirty six okay and we can uh, cancel here 18 ones are twos are which is equals to 1 by 2 okay i hope you understood that is first we need to write all the possible outcomes next uh, all the possible outcomes when we add them we need to get a sum as odd number okay and the number of favorable outcomes is 18 18 by total number of outcomes is 13 why 36 because uh, when we throw two days the possibility outcomes are 36 and when we cancel we get 1 by 2 i hope you understood this chapter probability we will meet in our next video till then bye bye but don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel please subscribe and support my channel thank you bye bye